Hi, this is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More. I was looking up distilled water because I wanted to find out if it was safe to drink. And there's a lot of different opinions about it. Some say don't drink it, you'll have an early death and all this stuff. But now I'm looking at Durastil and they have a water distillation system that talks about myths. And they have number one myth. Distillation takes out all the beneficial minerals. This is false according to them. They claim the distillation will kill and remove bacteria, viruses, cysts, and heavy metals, other organics and inorganics and small particulate matter. It will remove minerals that fall under inorganic contaminants. Well, we don't want that in our body anyway. Whether they're in water are beneficial or useless has been an ongoing debate. All of our minerals are derived from our food, not our water. Basically, it's fresh fruits, vegetables, meat, poultry, grains, nuts, dairy products. The minerals in water are so scant that we don't need to worry about it. The second myth is that distilled water leaches minerals from your body. Proponents of that a myth will say that it's because of the distillation being so pure that it will actually leach the minerals from your body and rob you of good health in return. There is no basis on this misconception, this claim. Distilled water has an inherent quality. It acts like a magnet to pick up rejected, discarded, and unusable minerals from the body. So it doesn't really leach anything from your body at all. The third myth is that long continued drinking water of distilled water will cause deterioration of your teeth. And they're saying this is false. The negative message that this set states wants to convey to us that drinking distilled water for long periods will wreak havoc on your teeth by deteriorating. There is no proof of that. Next myth number four, distilled water tastes bland or has a very flat taste. This is another myth. The original distillers did not incorporate any pre or post carbon filtration. And if you've tasted straight distilled water made without the use of any type of pre or post carbon filtration, it might have a steamy taste maybe. The use of carbon filtration with distillation is like this. Well, tap wet or well water is first sent through a tank. Let's find out what, where I left off here. Carbon. It might have escaped during the boiling process and says that it, it can produce an off taste that might have escaped during the boiling process. Another reason for distilled water having this label for flat taste is that people may be accustomed to the chlorinated water that they've drank, and the ones that also have a lot of iron in them. Taste is the number one reason that consumers buy bottled water. It's a $5 billion market. Uh, the, the flat taste theory also the, about buying distilled water in the store. Distilled water is stored in cheap plastic containers and some people have been known to, to leach methyl chloride and a universal solvent 
whatever t it touches will pick it'll pick it up distilled water being virtually a hundred percent contaminant free might leach plastic taste into the water from the inferior bottle that it's being stored in besides glass consider buying bottles made from Lexan that won't give off plastic tastes or odors well I know if it's in the heat then it can take out some of the plasticines and that could get into your system the myth number five is distilled water is not effective against organic chemicals They have been lowering the boiling points. They have lower boiling points in tap water, for example, benzene. And when water is boiled to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 centigrade, the boiling mark, um, it'll vaporize and rise up with a steam or come out as a gas. Many distillers today utilize this gas vent, which is a pinhole in the top of the condensing coils to vent off unwanted gases it can escape this vent and then the carbon post fuller can trap it and carbon pretreatment before distillation can remove a majority of chlorine in the distilled water these test results that they show in here were spiked beyond the EPA limit to show the distiller that carbon filtration can remove an extreme amount of contaminants. Today carbon filtration is a standard with all home distillation systems on the market making it a complete system by removing a wider range of contaminants including volatile organic contaminants. The myth six distilled are expensive to run. Home distillers take about three kilowatts to make a gallon of distilled water. On the basis of this USA's average of 10 cents per kilowatt hour that amounts to 30 cents to make one gallon. That's not too bad huh? So the maintenance of a distiller is changing pre and post fillers about every six to twelve months and periodically draining out of the residue left over from the boiling process and if there's a heavy scale bill up accumulating in the boiling tank then there are cleaning agents available. The two most popular cleaners are citric acid and sulfonic acid, a stronger agent recommended to soften and loosen up the scale. So the conclusion is that it's time to set the record straight about distilled water myths. There is a definite need for the home water distilling market in the industry and consumers have a right to know the correct facts concerning distilled water. Remember the distillation when combined with carbon filtrations will kill and remove virtually 100% of bacteria, viruses, cysts and heavy metals, inorganics including minerals. Uh, particulate matter in organics and all to all organic contaminants or 95% of our minerals come from food and less than 5% from drinking water you'd have to drown yourself by drinking to get the RDA of that's the recommended daily amount of any beneficial minerals pure water refers to water that is H 2O that's not H2O with calcium, iron, fluoride, etc. So distilled water comes closer to pure water and safer to drink. It won't it won't hurt your teeth in the long run. And it, it does not taste bland either. And they the distillers do not use a lot of electricity to make a gallon it's not bad. Hopefully these facts will help expel some of these myths about distilled water and help the industry present distillation with under its true light. So now you hear it and this was through www.durastill.com that's spelled d-u-r-a-s-t-i-l-l.com. Hope these, this helped you and your decision on whether or not to drink distilled water. 
Take care. This is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More.